Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, this is your personal coach, Irma Wilson. Um, if this is your first time here, welcome and please subscribe, like and share this video. Um, I come on every every um, every week, at least once a week, I come in and I kind of have a talk with whatever's going on um, just to give you some tools. Um, sometimes we have to just stop and talk. Talking things out help you sort through things that's already in you. That's what it is. You have all the answers in you. However, sometimes it takes a conversation with someone, a conversation with yourself. So since it's me and you, and you're not talking to me, let me just start by saying this month is our month, ladies. It's Women History Month. Um, so for the whole month, I'm going to find a subject. You're welcome to comment and put anything that you want me to discuss. Um, so we can have not so much a one-way talk, but a conversation. Um, why is it important to celebrate women? Why? My husband says it's all about the women all the time. It's women. This Valentine's Day is all about the women. Everything is all about the women. Um, well, I told him it's because you guys have control over the world and we were treated as the second class citizens and um, for all of our contribution in the world, there's almost not no recognition for, for, for what we do. We have to take on, and we can take these things into our own lives. Um, you can get up in your family and you do, you do, you do, you do, you do, but nobody really takes the time to say thank you, Mommy, for what all that you do sometimes. Um, if you don't find it within you to talk yourself through and keep yourself motivated and uplift yourself, um, it's very important that we do that for ourselves. It's extremely important to do that for ourselves. So happy Women in History Month. Um, let's just highlight womanhood. With all that it is, with all that good, the good, the bad, and the ugly, we need to embrace it, embrace ourselves. Embrace. Why is it important to embrace the woman that we are with all that it is? We can be irreasonable. We can be moody. We can be hard on ourselves. We can also be loving. We are so beautiful. So embrace all that we are. Embrace all that you are in this space, in this life. I, I know we give men a one for their money, honey. <laughs> we give them a one for the money. We, we, we can't, we're not going to apologize for being who we are. We're not going to apologize for changing our mind. We might feel this way today. Within seconds, we change our mind and we change what, how we feel and what we do. We shouldn't apologize for it. It is what it is. That's who we are. We talk too much. Oh, my husband has this thing. He starts nagging. I hate when he says that to me. Oh, I hate it with a passion. I don't nag. I talk about what bothers me. And until I see you get it, I'm going to keep talking about it, and I'm not apologizing for it. On our womanhood, our power.
power. There's so much power in femininity. Oh my God. Have you ever had a, if you never had a chance to walk in a room full of men and then you are the only woman you show up, I don't know if it's the scent of the woman, if it's the aura of the woman, the atmosphere changed. It's, it's something changed in the room. People used to say in the corporate world, we need to look like a man, we need to act like a man. We don't need to. I think we need to embrace our femininity and own it. Own our femininity and walk into that boardroom like you are boss. In your six-inch heel, your red lipstick. Let me tell you a story about a red lipstick. I had a mentor, a boss of mine, who wasn't going to be there, and he, she sent me to the meeting to present something. I went into the meeting. These people took over that meeting. It was very early in my career. I never had a chance to say a word because they were going back and forth, and I'm looking at them like a ping pong ball. Never did anybody give me the chance to address what I had. N no. And I was like, what am I going to tell my boss that I went to this meeting and I didn't do anything? I didn't say anything. I couldn't present anything. They took over. That boss of mine, you know what she said to me? Well, because you didn't have the chance to present, I need you to wear a red suit. Next Thursday, put on some red lipstick, put your pumps on, and we're going to go and you're going to present. This is the best thing this lady could have done for me. I don't think I own a red suit, but I went and got me a red suit. I got me a red suit. I got my red lipstick on, and she said, let's arrive early because I bet you you didn't even have room to put your little folder in your hand. I said, nope, because the boardroom, everybody, they spread. Men has no problem spreading themselves around. They spread all their stuff around. And I walked in, I literally had to squeeze myself into a seat. Almost like I was invisible. But the day that I walked in earlier... I spread my work in front of me. I had my notes. I had the pamphlet, everything that I was going to, back then we didn't really have um, presentation on the screen. Well, yes, we did. I did do it on the screen, but I had um, handouts for them. Um, as I walked in, everybody walked in. Hi, Irma. Hi. Hi, hi. Um, and then apparently my boss did call in the meeting because we didn't have a chance to present what we needed to present for our department. And they like, we already met, met. And she said, yes, you guys met, but my department didn't. We never had a chance. We were here. Irma was here to present, and I let people know that Irma would be there to present, and she never had a chance to do it, so we had to... Of course, they're looking at her like, who does she think she is? And then she said, go ahead, Irma. So I thank everybody for being there, and I hand them, had handed them their, their, their handouts, and I present my piece. I felt so powerful in that womb. At first I was nervous, but when everybody turned around and all eyes was on me and they were paying attention, I don't think they've ever seen me so confident. But the three things made me feel confident. Somebody first believed in me. So I'm grateful to her. Secondly, secondly, address the part. 
you have no idea how important it is to get up in the morning, dress as you feel, dress as what's going to go on in your day. How do you want to show up in that space? That boosts your confidence. If you're going on a date, you want to be, they say to wear white for a first date. You wear a white dress or white whatever. There's something about the way you dress as a woman that boosts your self-confidence. This is why it's important when we go to work, we look professional. We don't have to have a suit on to look professional, but you cannot show up with deep plunging neck stuff because you're not at a party. You can't even defend yourself in, in, a, in a setting like that. Somebody's staring at your breast in the workplace. It's almost uncomfortable. You feel like you have to cover yourself up because they can't even hear what you're saying. So depending on what message you want to put out there, I suggest you dress appropriately. That way you are in full confidence. When you walk in, that's half of the battle. So once you get everybody's attention, so now you can focus on your material. You're no longer nervous because you know what you have to present. You know the tools, you know, you know what you have in your hands, how you prepared for it. All that boosts your confidence. So I say, I'm a woman, hear me raw. Take our power, take your power. Take your power women this is what i have for you on the first day of the month of my first um co little coaching on the go for the month of march which is women month women's history month let's own it ladies let's be confident in our femininity I hate it. I hate it going to work in the morning with this mask. Um, there's something about when you get up. If you don't do anything else, you put some lipstick on. You look friendlier. You look more fun. With a drop of sexiness in it. Yet there's power and strength in it. Happy Women's History Month. This is all I have today. Let's let's bathe in it. Let, let's, let's enjoy it, ladies. Use our power, our femininity. Be who you are. Own who you are. Own it. It's okay. You don't have to be in a workplace because you are a, you are a leader in your workplace. You're working on it, frown on your face like you don't, you can talk to people. Relax. Smile. People always underestimate my strength. And I like it like that. Because they don't even see it coming when they think they, they're going to undermine especially women in the, you know if you're in a workplace and you have people you're managing men they think oh I, they can do whatever she look at her silly she's always laughing she's always smiling until they cross me until they try me with that same smile, I put you in your place. So you don't have to talk like a man. You don't have to act like a man. 
You really don't have to. You can be all the woman that you are. But work on yourself to get this confidence. Work on yourself so that you can be confident in what you're doing. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. Go to school. Um, you know, take a, not even go to school. You can take a, a, a class. There's conference, women conferences everywhere, leadership everywhere. Even if you're not in a leadership position, you still can lead where you are. Leadership classes give you the confidence that you need to move forward in your career. Classes, learn new things. Perfect your craft. Practice. When you know what you know, you can tell somebody, I know what I know and I know what I know. Now, don't be too cocky now because there's always room for growth. You can always learn one more thing. There's always one more thing to learn. So be confident enough. Not, there's a borderline where you can be very cocky. But I want you to be confident. I want you to don't be shy. Don't be meek. When you walk in somewhere, good morning. Dress for the occasion. Let's start there. Dress for the occasion. Do not show up at work with tights. My husband says, I'm always too hard on my children. Why are you telling her not to wear tights? Don't wear no tights to work. You going to work, if they allow um, jeans, okay, you can wear jeans, but it still needs to be presentable. Let me tell you a story. Um, there was a manager in a hotel when I used to manage in hotels. Um, there's a customer that wanted to talk to a manager from a department. Um, so my staff says, okay, let me go. She came back and says, I'm not such and such. She's asking for such and such manager from this restaurant, I believe. And, um, Can you go talk to her? I said, no, let's send the manager. The manager, let's say that she's, she never looked presentable to me. There's a little, she's always looking a little sloppy, on the sloppy side. So, apparently I show up with her together to the front. And the lady was addressing me because she thought, I was the manager that she needed to talk to. I said, no, this is who you need to talk to. And she said, no, I want to talk to the manager. I was embarrassed for her. This customer wouldn't talk to her because she didn't look the part. I literally had to move away, walk away. I said, you have to talk to her. This is the supervisor of the department. That's not my department. I really can't help you. So. I kind of move away and literally put her hands in her, you know, give, to let her handle her managerial duties. But I don't care what people say, people look at how you show up. You communicate something with how you dress, how you appear, your appearance talk before you even open your mouth. So how do you want to present yourself to the world? Monique, comedian Monique was talking about, and a lot of people give her a lot of flack for that, 
for pe for she was talking about people that are in the airport with bonnet on, pajamas on, slippers on, at the airport catching an airplane to go somewhere. Back in the day, people used to get dressed up to go to travel. I think that that relaxedness needs to come the, the 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 dress the part needs to come back that's an important skill it's a very important skill for us to have to know how to dress the part you can be embarrassed if you overdress it's embarrassing have you ever gone somewhere and you're like oh I'm overdressed People think if you dress, the, especially my Haitian community, they think if you dress to the T, you're safe. No. No. If you're going to a day party, you can relax wear a sundress, not a gown, not a sequence gown. You look ridiculous. There is such thing as being overdressed for an occasion because you stick out like a sore thumb. I had a, a party that we planned. My friend Joanne's birthday party. It was a gay light. It was a fundraiser. So it's a red ball. People show up in a blue short dress. You're not going to church. You're coming to a red ball. It says it on the invitation. That's, that's the thing. People, let's pay attention to the invitation. Because the invitations you receive set the tone. This is my, my party planning skills that I'm giving you right now. The invitation to the party set the tone. Don't show up in a party that says blackout. That means you wear all black. If it's a white affair, you wear all white. If you don't feel like following these rules, don't go to those people's party. Bottom line, you don't have to go. But if you want to have fun along with everybody else, just conform. If you're going to show up to a friend to, 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 to support a happy occasion and she says, please wear such and such, if you don't feel like wearing such and such, you don't have to go. But if you decide I'm going to show up for my friend, get out of yourself and follow the party rule because you're going to look ridiculous. I've had people show up at parties that ask them to wear all white or all black every single time somebody would show up. And then you, you say, everybody, let's take a picture. That person is uncomfortable because that's the only different color that's there. 90% of the time the person leaves. So show up where you can be comfortable, where you don't have to be embarrassed or feel uncomfortable because you're overdressed or you underdress. You cannot go to an affair in the evening and show up in jeans unless they say wear jeans. Unless they say it's okay. There's a new trend out that men are wearing suits with sneakers. At first I looked at it, but now everybody's doing it that it becomes an expectation and some of them really wear it well. My son in particular, Jamal, wore it the first time I saw it besides TV. And I thought, oh, he looks cute. A whole suit dressed up with sneakers on. I say all that to say, ladies, let me not, um, I'm not going to go too far into the men fashion because this is our day, this is our month. Um, I say all that to say, let's embrace who we are. Let's embrace our femininity. Let's embrace our moon, mood swing. We are entitled to have mood swing. 
You know why? Because her hormones goes up and down every single month. The things that we go through, if men was to, I don't think they can handle it. So I'm not going to apologize because I was moody last week. My whole inside is turning inside out. I'm hurting. And, and you expect me to put my pump on and cheer you on and thank you, baby, for everything you do. Ooh, you helped me today. Sometimes I feel like it, I will. Sometimes I don't feel like it. Yes, it's, it's your job too. It's your job too. So let's not, let's stop apologizing for being a woman. We can change our mind. When a woman get dressed and you look good, you feel good. Today I start with the look. We're going to dive into health. We're going to dive in everything women this month. It's always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for tuning in. Please don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell below so that you can get my new content. Have a great week. Until next time. Bye-bye.